Welcome, everyone. Today, we embark on a journey of self-discovery and enlightenment, exploring the boundaries of our decisions and actions within the tapestry of life. Our focus is on the unwritten rules of life, those that, according to scientific evidence, we should endeavor never to do. These guidelines are not just mere suggestions but pivotal to fostering a life of fulfillment, health, and happiness. Let's delve into the top 5 rules of life that, under no circumstances, should you ever do. Starting with number 5, never underestimate the power of sleep. In the realm of health and personal development, sleep stands as a pillar, foundational yet frequently overlooked or sacrificed at the altar of productivity and constant connectivity. The narrative that has pervaded our society, that sleep is for the weak, that it's lost time, couldn't be further from the truth. Scientific evidence paints a compelling picture of sleep not as a passive state but as a dynamic process, crucial for our physical health, mental clarity, and emotional resilience. Let's dive into the science. Research has unequivocally shown that adequate sleep, approximately 7 to 9 hours for most adults, is pivotal for a plethora of reasons. During sleep, our bodies undergo repair and rejuvenation. Cells are restored, toxins are flushed from the brain, and energy is replenished. This isn't just about feeling rested. It's about giving our bodies the time and space to maintain homeostasis and optimal functioning. But the benefits of sleep extend beyond the physical realm. Sleep is intricately linked to cognitive function and emotional well-being. It plays a crucial role in memory consolidation, allowing us to process and retain new information, fostering creativity and problem-solving abilities. Moreover, adequate sleep is associated with better mood regulation and a lower risk of mental health disorders such as depression and anxiety. It's a testament to the fact that our brains, the very organs that drive our capacity for innovation and creativity, require sleep to function at their best. The consequences of neglecting sleep are stark. Chronic sleep deprivation has been linked to a host of health issues, including obesity, type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and a weakened immune system. It's a silent epidemic, one that undermines our efforts to live healthy, productive lives. The irony is palpable, in our quest to do more, to be constantly available, we're compromising the very engine of our capabilities and well-being. But here's the call to action, the invitation to each of us to shift our perspective on sleep. It's about embracing sleep not as a luxury or a necessary evil but as an integral part of our lives. It's about recognizing that true productivity, creativity, and innovation don't come from pushing ourselves to the brink of exhaustion but from nurturing our minds and bodies, giving ourselves the rest we need to reach new heights. Incorporating quality sleep into our lives is a commitment, a deliberate choice to prioritize our health and our potential. It might mean re-evaluating our evening routines, disconnecting from digital devices before bed, creating a sleep-conducive environment, and listening to our body's natural rhythms. It's a process, an evolution towards a healthier, more balanced life. As we stand at the forefront of innovation, let's not forget the basics. Let's champion the cause of sleep, advocating for its critical role in our lives. This is about more than just personal health. It's about shaping a culture that values and respects the necessity of rest. Moving on to number four, never neglect the importance of physical activity. In a world where our work often chains us to our desks and our leisure time is dominated by screens, the act of moving our bodies, of engaging in regular physical activity, has become more critical than ever. This isn't just about shedding excess pounds or building muscle, it's about staving off a host of diseases, enhancing our mental health, and, fundamentally, enriching the quality of our lives. The science is clear and compelling. Regular physical activity is a powerhouse of benefits. It reduces the risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and certain cancers. It's a critical factor in managing weight, lowering blood pressure, and reducing the risk of stroke. Furthermore, exercise plays a pivotal role in maintaining cognitive function and emotional well-being, acting as a natural antidote to stress, anxiety, and depression. But why is this so? When we engage in physical activity, our bodies undergo a transformation. Exercise stimulates the release of endorphins, 
often referred to as the body's natural painkillers and mood elevators. It improves blood flow to the brain, enhancing cognitive function and protecting against age-related decline. On a cellular level, physical activity helps to reduce inflammation and oxidative stress, two processes that are central to the development of chronic disease. Yet, despite the overwhelming evidence supporting the benefits of physical activity, many of us find it challenging to integrate exercise into our daily routines. The reasons are manifold, lack of time, perceived effort, or simply the inertia of sedentary habits. However, the key to overcoming these barriers lies not in monumental changes but in the accumulation of small, sustainable shifts in behavior. It's about finding activities that we enjoy, be it walking, cycling, swimming, or dancing, and making them a non-negotiable part of our day. Moreover, physical activity is not just a solitary endeavor. It's an opportunity to connect with others, to share in the joy of movement, and to build communities around health and wellness. Whether through group sports, exercise classes, or simply walking with friends or family, the social aspect of physical activity can amplify its benefits, turning exercise into a source of joy and connection. As we navigate the complexities of modern life, let us not forget the simplicity and power of moving our bodies. Let's embrace physical activity not as a chore but as a celebration of what our bodies can do, a testament to our resilience, and a cornerstone of a vibrant, healthy life. At number 3, we find a rule that is often breached in the pursuit of momentary pleasures. Never consume excessive amounts of alcohol. Excessive alcohol consumption stands as a significant risk factor for a wide array of health issues, both immediate and long term. The evidence is overwhelming and irrefutable. Chronic heavy drinking is linked to liver disease, including cirrhosis and liver cancer. It elevates the risk of cardiovascular diseases, including hypertension and heart failure. Furthermore, alcohol is a known carcinogen, with a strong correlation to an increased risk of cancers, particularly in the liver, breast, esophagus, and throat. But the impact of excessive alcohol consumption extends beyond the physical. Its effects on mental health are profound, contributing to the development of disorders such as depression and anxiety, and exacerbating existing mental health issues. Moreover, alcohol dependency can fracture relationships, erode social bonds, and lead to a cascade of societal issues, including violence and economic instability. Yet, amid these stark realities, the path forward is not one of prohibition but of informed moderation and mindful choices. The goal is to cultivate a relationship with alcohol that respects its potential impacts on our health and well-being. This means adhering to guidelines for moderate consumption and being vigilant about the situations in which we choose to drink. Moderation is defined differently across various health organizations but generally suggests up to one drink per day for women and up to two drinks per day for men as a guideline. However, even within these limits, the decision to consume alcohol should be made with a clear understanding of one's personal health history and risk factors. The journey towards moderation and mindful consumption of alcohol also opens a broader conversation about the ways we choose to socialize and relax. It invites us to explore alternative avenues for connection and leisure that do not hinge on alcohol consumption. From engaging in physical activities and hobbies to fostering deeper, more meaningful conversations, the possibilities are vast and varied. As we stand at this juncture, reflecting on the role of alcohol in our lives and our culture, let us choose a path of awareness, moderation, and health. Let us navigate the social landscapes of our lives with wisdom, making choices that honor our bodies, our minds, and the collective well-being of our communities. The second rule of life you should never break is to never isolate yourself. The science behind the imperative of social connection is both vast and unequivocal. Human beings are inherently social creatures, wired for interaction and belonging. The implications of social isolation and loneliness are stark, manifesting not just in the realm of emotional distress but as tangible detriments to our physical health. Research has illuminated that lacking strong social connections can increase the risk of premature death significantly, a risk comparable to smoking, obesity, and physical inactivity. The mechanisms through which social isolation impacts our health are multifaceted. At its core, 
isolation triggers stress responses in the body, leading to elevated levels of cortisol and inflammation, both of which are risk factors for a multitude of chronic conditions, including heart disease and stroke. Moreover, loneliness has been linked to an increased risk of mental health issues such as depression and anxiety, further compounding its effects on our well-being. But the narrative doesn't end here, it extends into the domain of cognitive health. Studies have shown that individuals with strong social ties have a lower risk of cognitive decline and dementia. These relationships provide not just emotional support but cognitive stimulation, a crucial factor in maintaining mental acuity as we age. In this context, the mandate is clear. To cultivate and nurture our social connections is not merely a pursuit of emotional fulfillment but a fundamental aspect of preserving our health and extending our longevity. This involves actively seeking out and maintaining relationships that provide mutual support, understanding, and enrichment. Embracing community, whether through family, friendships, or broader social networks, offers a buffer against the trials of life, providing a source of strength, joy, and resilience. It's about prioritizing face-to-face -face interactions, engaging in shared activities, and fostering a sense of belonging and purpose within our social spheres. As we navigate the complexities of the modern world, let us be mindful of the power of our social bonds. Let us invest in these relationships with the understanding that they are not just adjuncts to our lives but essential pillars of our health and happiness. And the number one rule of life that should never be broken, never stop learning and growing. The science supporting lifelong learning is both compelling and profound. Engaging in continuous intellectual stimulation has been shown to have significant benefits for our cognitive health, particularly as we age. Studies indicate that individuals who consistently challenge their minds through reading, learning new skills, or even engaging in complex discussions have a lower risk of cognitive decline and diseases such as Alzheimer's. This process of learning and cognitive engagement promotes neuroplasticity, the brain's remarkable ability to form new neural connections throughout life. But the benefits of lifelong learning extend far beyond cognitive health. It's also about emotional and psychological well-being. Learning new things can boost self-confidence, foster a sense of achievement, and provide a meaningful pursuit that enriches our lives. It connects us with others, opens up new perspectives, and fuels our creativity and curiosity. In a rapidly changing world, the ability to adapt and learn is not just an asset, it's a necessity. The pursuit of lifelong learning is about staying relevant, not just in our careers but in understanding the world around us. It's about embracing change with enthusiasm and seeing it as an opportunity to grow and evolve. How, then, do we embed the principle of lifelong learning into our lives? It starts with curiosity, the willingness to question, explore, and seek out new experiences. It means setting aside time for personal development, whether through formal education, self-study, or practical experiences. It's about fostering a mindset that views challenges as opportunities to learn rather than obstacles to avoid. Moreover, lifelong learning is not a solitary journey. It thrives in the exchange of ideas, in discussions, and in shared experiences. It's about building communities of learners who support and inspire each other. Whether it's joining a book club, attending workshops, or simply engaging in meaningful conversations with friends and family, every interaction is an opportunity to learn and grow. As we conclude this exploration of the rules of life, let us hold fast to the principle of lifelong learning. Let it be the compass that guides our choices, the lens through which we view the world, and the spark that ignites our passion for life. In conclusion, these rules of life, ensuring adequate sleep, maintaining physical activity, moderating alcohol consumption, fostering social connections, and pursuing lifelong learning, are not just pathways to avoiding negative outcomes. They are the pillars upon which a fulfilling, healthy, and vibrant life is built. As we navigate the complexities of our existence, let us hold these principles close guiding our choices and actions towards a future of wellness and contentment. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the essential rules of life. May we all strive to embody these principles, not just for our well-being but for the richness and depth they add to our lives. Here's to living fully, healthily, and wisely.